Oh my god! Get the fuck inside! Get indoors, boys! They're firing miners! Yo, why is your gun upside down? Good cap. Oh my god! Holy fuck! Don't leave the building, don't leave- Oh my god! There's fucking death all around us, but this guy has no upper body! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry, and today I want to talk to you guys about Hell Let Loose. I made a video here a couple of weeks ago taking a whole bunch of stream highlights where I'm basically discussing the state of the game and, and what I find wrong with the test. We now have a closed beta weekend test going on right now. Here's some gameplay from my perspective. Um, I have to say, playing on the original map, which is titled St. Marie Dumont, um, I gotta say, it's a much better experience. It's just laid out, even though it's like really grid based. I, I enjoy it a lot more than Hurt Gen Forest, which was the gameplay you guys were seeing in the last test. And one of the biggest changes or the fixes that they have made in this test is the first person animations, which was one of my biggest complaints about the game. It just felt really stiff and really awkward to play during the last test. And it looks like they've made a lot of improvements for it. And it actually does feel better. I did some testing, just moving the mouse around with ADSing and stuff. And there is a, a definite improvement. It feels a lot better to play performance and optimization fixes one of the biggest problems of that last test was when an explosion was dropping from like artillery or whatever your your whole fucking game would just completely freeze up and turn into like polaroid picture levels of frame rates they've definitely fixed that the artillery hitting now the experience is literally night and day from what it was like a month ago to now I'm super impressed they did a lot of fixes in the tank I wasn't able to jump in I'm not a big tank person anyway I always want to focus on boots on the ground how does the character feel how does the gun handle and I gotta say it feels really really fluid and really really crisp now with that I was noticing some lag on the server there were people kind of running in place and then showing up like 20 or 30 feet behind where they were before so there definitely is some desync there is some lag on the server still I'm hoping they can get that worked out before launch which is actually coming out in June now they announced there a couple of weeks ago that the game is coming into early access on June 6th so you guys can look forward to a video of the game at that time and apparently there's going to be two more tests in between now and that June 6th release date. The devs have done a lot in the last month. I'm actually really impressed and I want to see what they can do moving forward. I'll be honest, jumping into the last test, I was really excited going into it. And then when I, I started playing and realizing just how many issues there actually were with animations uh, and, and the lag and the, and the desync and, and, and the, the biggest thing was the frame dips and the optimization. They've done a lot since that test. So I am... I'm hopeful, I guess. I hope that this game actually is something that people really want to play and that people enjoy when it does come out. I'm rooting for the developers as I've followed this game for pretty much since the beginning. I was an original Kickstarter backer and I, I am hoping for the best. This was one of my most anticipated shooters of the year. And like when I went into the last test, I, that just completely just erased the game from my radar. But I figured I'd jump in, give you guys a quick little update on how I'm feeling about the game right now. I don't know if they're going to be doing like an open test where like everybody can jump in. I don't know how they would handle that, but I would love to see a, a way for my community to actually get involved and get in and see what the game is like before it actually comes out. And that way we can stress test the servers, but with everything being tied into the Steam back end and having to like generate a whole bunch of like testing keys and stuff, I don't know how well that would work out, but I really hope that they can do something to pretty much market the game and allow more people to jump in so they can get a feel for what I'm seeing and what I'm playing on the screen here. I think the next video I do on this game is going to be that early access release. I might keep you guys in the loop for what's going on in the other two tests. I don't know. I'm still debating. Don't want to flood you with hell let loose content. And then when the game comes out, just, you know, do one video and that's it. But I do want to provide you guys with as much information on this game as humanly possible. If you guys haven't heard, Sid Alpha prominent youtuber on the platform has called me out and said that he basically wants to beat me to a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube which <laughs> i mean i mean come on at the time of recording this i'm currently 2600 subscribers ahead of him and i'm hoping to increase that lead over the next few weeks 
to the point where he, you know, eventually just gives up and, and, you know, calls a truce. So if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you were commenting. And you guys are killing it, by the way. We, we are at 92,000, most likely going to be 93 here in the next couple of days. We're killing it. We're well on our way to 100K. I'm hoping I can beat Sid Alpha. I mean, it's really no contest at this point. But I appreciate you guys watching. All the comments, all the sharing on social media, I'm seeing it. Every time my name gets tagged on either Twitter or Facebook, guys, I see it. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.